Well, it is um, mid-October, and I've spent the year, basically, the main growing season, with this, this tractor here. We call it, we've been calling it the pedal tractor a lot, but we've changed the name because I honestly don't pedal that much. You don't need to. It, it's got pedals, and they do help. They help you move it if you ever got a, a problem with the control system, the battery runs out. They help give you like a little bit extra boost of power when it bogs down. So um, this thing is running, let's say, at 1,000 watts. Well, I can put out a few hundred watts in a short period of time and, and give it a good percentage uh, boost. So the pedal is a useful feature, but really it's an electric tractor. It's a mini electric tractor. So when we started thinking about what to call it, we ended up changing it to Corvallis Mini Electric Tractor, which ends up being Comet, so that's a cool acronym. And Corvallis is where we are. We're in the city of Corvallis is sort of that direction a few miles. But also Corvallis means heart of the valley. So kind of a really nice agricultural name for a little mini electric tractor. And the idea for this project was we would try to wean ourselves off of the diesel tractors that small farms rely on for doing simple cultivation tasks. And we have some ideas to make this even more and more versatile with electric uh, systems that we'll get into over the next year. Um, but it did, it did seem to really do a good job of replacing like walk behind tillers and um, things like Alice Chalmers G, things that, that um, traditionally were used for small farms to do row cultivation, row crop cultivation. So using a lot of traditional tools like the sweeps and the finger weeders, um, and there's a lot of videos we have showing those in action. But the yellow one here was the first version, and then we, we saw what its downsides were. And so uh, my son Davis and I, we worked on uh, des redesigning another one, uh, version two, the blue, and all done in uh, partnership collaboration with Bountiful uh, Backyard, which is a local nonprofit um, where there's an OSU graduate professional engineer, um, uh, Mark. So, you know, it really took the whole team effort of Davis with his interest in electrical drive systems, me as a farmer, and Mark with his um, engineering chops to manufacture, to design and manufacture and test this. Here I am beneath Comet Blue. This is the second uh, electric tractor we've, we've built. Davis is putting on a sweep here. We're going to do the first sort of trial run. Uh, we got a uh, about two and a half to three kilowatt motor here and uh, goes directly to the axle which then uh, chain drives motocross um, chain and sprockets the the back wheels here. So two wheel drive with a differential. The 16.1 gear reduction right here for the motor. So we bring this RPM down to around 200. Um, What's the motor native RPM then? If it's... Native RPM is between 2400 and 3000 RPM on the motor. Okay, so a lot of torque then.
this tractor here is using a standard uh, electric moped or pedicab motor system. It is about uh, 2,500 to 3,000 watts uh, power output. The motor on the other side, other tractor, is using a standard uh, mid-drive e-bike motor, um, which is nominal 750 watts uh, with a peak of 1500. It seems to run um, at a thousand. A when thousand you yeah. is the cruising a little bit. Cruising. Yep. Um, it uses um, a, a, an e-bike battery. Um, for energy storage and e-bike controllers integrated e-bike controllers integrated so this one you had to then basically set up the whole control system as well it wasn't integrated yeah controlling is not integrated into the motor um, separate a separate motor uh, controller and um, throttle input was necessary alongside um, uh, programming from me and a lot of a lot big beefier battery packs battery pack is beefier it is um, 3.8 times the capacity of the other one um, and it can provide um, uh, one third times more power output um, but they're both running at like about 52 watts, it seems like. They're both running around 52 volts. Oh, sorry, 52 volts. At, um, How many amps at, is that? At around 40 to, uh, yeah, around 40 amps. Um, okay, on this one. On this one right here. This one's yeah. around 44 to 60 amps, depending upon the, um, the speed. Yeah. Uh, high, full 3000 RPM is around 60 amps but um, standard operating uh, current is around 44 amps on this system. Mm -hmm. um, this system over here, peak arp operating current is around 25 amps um, at around 54 uh, volts for the, the, yeah. the battery. And we just, we just showed that we can do things with the, uh, the second version, the Comet Blue, that we could not do with the Comet Yellow. That was pretty amazing how we were able to get the five sweeps to go. Um, I was limited to about three sweeps with the first one, the first tractor, Comet Yellow, and um, and it was pushing it, whereas this seemed to really easily do five full sweeps. So five, five foot plus um, of a cultivation width, and I was able to get good depth, and I really wasn't even seemed to be stressing it too badly, whereas I was doing maximum stress on the first version and uh, only able to do three. So a lot more powerful. And so it's going to be a lot more versatile for, for us. So pretty excited. We still have some tweaks to make. And, um, but I, I, it, as a, as a second uh, version, it definitely has tremendous improvements right away.